I have said, I will protect my ways from missing the mark with my tongue. I will restrain my mouth with a muzzle while the wicked are yet before me. I tied my tongue with silence. I was silent, but to no avail, and my pain was stirred up. My heart became warm within me. While sighing in prayer, a fire began to burn. Then, with my tongue, I spoke. My Lord, make known to me my end. What is the measured limit of my days? And let me know how transient I am. Behold, you have set my days, mere moments, and the duration of my life is like nothing before you. Indeed, complete meaningless vanity is the position of every man. Indeed, as mere empty images, as dark and gloomy shadows, people move to and fro. Yes, in vain, to no purpose, they bustle about pouring their wealth into a big heap not knowing who will gather it to themselves in the end. And now, my Lord, what do I hope for? My hope is in you. Remove me from all my transgressions. Please do not make me the taunt of the foolish. I am silenced. My mouth I will not open. For it is you who have done this. Remove your affliction from upon me. While your hand moves against me, I am undone. With reproach against sin, you chastise a man. You dissolve him, well, as a moth does to loveliness. Indeed, complete meaningless vanity is the position of every man. My Lord, please hear my prayer, and please heed my cry for help. Please do not be silent at my tears. Do not be deaf to my weeping, for in your company I am a newcomer without rights, one who is in need of protection, a resident alien like all my ancestors before me. Spare me, turn the anger in your eyes away from me, remove your reproach that I may become cheerful once again before I die and him no more.